Chitraduga Fort, located across several hills, overlooking a flat valley in the Chitraduga region of Karnataka, within India, is undoubtedly an incredible sight indeed, just like that of Kalish Temple and many other ancient temples and fortifications found across ancient India, was once perfectly cut straight from the surrounding bedrock, a feat which we claim was beyond the capabilities of those who some claim constructed them. The fort is claimed as being built in stages and is dated as having been constructed or indeed carved between the 11th and the 13th century. It was, indeed, we believe, simply reclaimed as the work of these rulers in what many would perceive as a power move, becoming an intimidating fortification for outsiders to have come and gazed upon. Claimed as having been constructed by the dynastic rulers of the region, including the Chalukyas and Hoysalas, later the Nayakas of Chitradurga, those of the Vijayanagar Empire. Corroborating this is the lack of utilization of the tremendous effort the fort would have been to construct, and that the fort, like so many other inexplicable ancient sites, was easily overcome in 1779 by Haider Ali at Chitradurga, then later by British forces. The fort's name, Chitra Kaldurga, which means picturesque fort in Kannada, is also now the namesake of the town Chitradurga. Enormous boulders are incorporated into the ancient walls, with near polygonal masonry constructed around them. Built upon and into solid bedrock, one would have presumed that whoever built it would have been considerably difficult to have budged, even with incredible amounts of cannon fire. Yet those who claimed to have built it were seemingly quickly invaded and overcome. Furthermore, if one looks at other ancient sites across India, also carved directly from the bedrock of Earth, one not only begins to see the similarities in the builds, but the impossible perfection of these artistic visions, once having been so precisely cut, apparently with primitive tools. It is a site, along with the rest of ancient Indian antiquities, which are, in addition, not only claimed as the work of those who lived within the New World, but are yet to have been fully explained, it is a site which is undoubtedly highly compelling. Inside a tunnel system carved from the solid limestone bedrock, in the desert of Egypt, lay 24 black granite boxes cut with the precision our modern technologies do not possess. Shaped from as one granite and extremely hard stone, these massive boxes remain a profound mystery for scholars who are unsure as to what their true purpose was, or indeed how old they are. Numerous well-known figures have concluded the hieroglyphics written upon them is of such poor quality it is regarded as graffiti, many people believe Egyptian kings claimed precision made ruins as their own. This is one of the main hypotheses put forward for the Egyptians lack of any records of the pyramids construction, often decorating them in a more primitive form of writing style. The suspected sarcophagi range in weight between 50 and 100 tons. Their real purpose or maybe indeed their function remains unclear, although they were clearly of importance, they were cut with such precision in fact they would have remained airtight for eons. Researchers like Brian Foster theorize they are clear examples of lost ancient high technology created before the time of the dynastic Egyptians. Whatever their true purpose was, the truth is that they are beyond magnificent. Well-regarded studies, for example, into the erosion evident on the Sphinxes of Giza, have proven to indicate they may be far older than the Egyptian civilizations. By several hundred thousand years, some even claiming they show evidences of past submersions. The Serapium of Saqqara is located to the northwest of the famous Pyramid of Djosa. This necropolis found near Memphis, Egypt, is believed in modern academia to have been built sometime around 1300 BC by Ramesses II. Just what kind of technology, or indeed what kind of man, could have cut, transported, stacked and placed blocks of stones weighing up to 100 tons on top of each other with such accuracy?
The evidence for the existence of a past, now lost, yet once highly advanced and global civilization should now be overwhelming to anyone who has spent any amount of time researching the anomalies and similarities within ancient sites worldwide found on nearly every continent on Earth. There are countless sites claimed as a certain civilization's work Yet these claims not only often lack any explanation as to how these cultures built said ruins, or how, if built by said culture, they can be connected to other sites located in other countries thousands of miles away. These facts are simply academically ignored. Interestingly, another site we can now add to this list of locations that the known polygonal building civilizations pinpointed within the Arab Emirates. According to academic study, quote, the hilly archaeological site not only provides the earliest known evidence of an agricultural village in the United Arab Emirates, but also contains villages, burial grounds, and agricultural infrastructure. The largest collection in the UAE of tombs and buildings from this period is located at Hilly. A number of these Bronze Age structures are located within the Hilly Archaeological Park and are open to the public." End quote. We concur that the site is clearly from a range of different ages, yet along with these modern-looking buildings is one structure which we found incredibly interesting. Known as the Hilly Grand Tomb, like many other structures of unexplainable origin or of lost purpose attributed to that of a tomb. Yet due to the polygonal masonry technique, a now lost technology found the world over clear for all to see and of an exquisite advanced quality. This labeling of a mere tomb to us has been brought into question. For simply due to the method of its creation, we can state that we do not know who, when, or indeed why such a structure in the Arab Emirates was created. It is undoubtedly a small building, yet one of profound features. Thus, it is a place which we find highly compelling. Machu Picchu, unquestionably one of the most recognizable ancient ruins on Earth. It is a place that is found high on countless astute explorers' bucket lists, and for good reason. Placed far away from modern civilization, requiring a 10-hour trek along the Inca Trail to reach. However, when one arrives at the site, they are rewarded with an astonishing array of ancient feats of engineering. There are many anomalous characteristics of this pre-Incan site, which although ignored by academia, we intend to explore here on our channel. One of these peculiar and as yet unexplained features is the Temple of Three Windows. Located west of the main square, this sacred temple, formed with the use of gigantic megalithic blocks, is adorned with three still-existing trapezoidal-shaped windows, aligned with the path of the sun, allowing its rays to pass through them at differing times of the day, brightly illuminating the sacred plaza beyond. It is one of the many inexplicable features of Machu Picchu, and indeed pre-Incan Peru, which laughs in the face of currently attested academic theory and its attempts to explain how such sites were initially built. Most funded archaeologists claim Machu Picchu was constructed as an estate for an Incan emperor known as Pachacuti between 1438 to 1472. However, we disagree with this claim. Due to the exquisite nature of the site's construction, the clearly advanced levels of architecture, specifically, but not exclusively, pertaining to its complex irrigation, sanitation, and drainage systems, and indeed, the precision displayed with the use of such enormous multi-ton stones. These ancient megaliths were not only somehow carried to the tops of these mountaintop fortresses, but as the temple of the three windows clearly displays, masterfully cut to form the windows accomplishing such a refined finish to their surfaces that to claim they were chiseled out using primitive tools, we find not to be a viable or indeed logical conjecture. It is clear to us that whoever created this remarkable temple had at their disposal not only advanced highly capable transport systems, 
but stone-cutting tools far out of the reach of the academically claimed constructors. Furthermore, present upon the stones of the Temple of Three Windows, also visible throughout ancient Peru, are enigmatic marks left by a tool that we, the public, are yet to be informed of. Intriguingly, these marks are not only visible upon the stones within Peru, but are also in abundance at the ancient quarry within Aswan. We have in the past covered the pink granite columns found within the ancient temples of Baalbek, transported from the same quarry to Baalbek, a distance of over 1,000 miles. These columns, we hypothesize, link the temple to the ancient pyramids, and these enigmatic stone-cut marks present at Machu Picchu, we assert, connect all three. We believe that as more detailed alternative research is undertaken upon these sites, the connections between them, or more specifically, the true creators of said sites, will become apparent as the same. Both religious and evolution theories, in their current forms, stifle this truth by their very nature. Yet, thankfully, as more and more curious individuals relinquish themselves of the rigid and conformist chains of ideologies in favor of a pursuit of the truths of our Earth, the reality of history will inevitably be unraveled. Who built the Temple of Three Windows? How did they construct such an astonishing site built with such aligned precision with such enormous stones? It is undoubtedly highly compelling.